And we are back exploring the story of John Marston and Arthur Morgan and the rest of the, the rest of their gang. All right, so the last time we were here, we rescued Mrs. Adler from the old Driscoll boys, and then we rescued John Marston from wolves, and now we're here. <coughs> we're going to starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. Pearson? We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Damn. Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found nothing. Enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted off. <laughs> Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. <laughs> you think this is rest? Come along. All right. Guess we're getting some food for the gang. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn. You got a good point. Imagine. Come on, this way. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill? It ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. Uh. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. <sighs> Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, bringing John back in. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <sighs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. See some of the ground uncovered here. Let's look down this way. Hmm. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay 
quiet. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. Easy. Deer been here recently. How can you tell? How can you not? We'll track them on foot. Keep down. Move quietly and slowly. See the tracks? I uh, think so. Maybe not. Focus. I see. Oh, okay, hold on. It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in. You'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. I see it. I see the deer. Wait, look. There they are. Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. Aim for their head or neck. We want a good, clean deer. You can pull back quite hard. You'll feel when it's too much. Oh, shit. Uh, dang it. Oh, shoot. Didn't you mean to do that? Okay. Oh, you stinkers! You're making yourself too obvious. Oh, you little stinkers! Yeah, it's... <clears throat> Apologize if I'm struggling. It's been some time since I've done the Red Dead video. Oh, come on. 
You gotta get one of these suckers. Oh shoot. Nice. Got it. See if you can get another one. Careful. This might be our only chance for a good meal. Alright, we'll get another one. Alright. We get one more deer. We should be good to go. No, don't do that. Dang. Oh, it's my energy. Okay. Hold on. Hold on a second. Let me just eat this real quick. All right, that's better. Keep following the tracks, Arthur. There we go. Oh, it's alive. Crap. Okay. I'll go grab the other one. All right. Took some time, but at least we got some deer. Some decent hunting, but could have been better. Yep. <laughs> Ready to head back when you are. Come on, then. Let's head back. Enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Huh? Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak and. Well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the cab cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good though we caught more than one. A lot of mouths to feed. And that girl from the ranch now, too. But 
Not sure she'll be eating much. She has a wild look in her eye. You would, too. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. Oh. So what do we do with her? Once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. So it was O'Driscoll's you ran into there? Yeah. <laughs> Last thing we was expecting. What is it with the O'Driscoll's? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Nah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well... We've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Cone, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. I uh, apologize for my before, for my poor performance back there. It has been some time since I played Le Red Dead. Almost said Left 4 Dead. Wrong game. <laughs> Let's get these deer back to the gang so that don't so that way our folks don't starve. See if we can find another way around. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Yeah, I ra I'd rather not mess with the bear. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. For a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. <laughs> you taught me to read. John, too. Tell me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. <laughs> How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. 
He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Huh. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the cow once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Brought some food back, boys! Yes, I'll hitch my horse here. Get these over to Pearson. Oh, and, uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Just drop it down in here. What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Ah, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yes. Oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? <coughs> Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you, you dumped on the floor there. Too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> All right. Stay alert there, Javier. Hello, Arthur. All right. Help with you boys because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lam, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> <A> party. <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> oh, I don't feel like being hey. laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop <laughs> it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. You sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Folks been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. 
I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here yeah. for us. I doubt that. No, nope, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, <laughs> Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right mm. time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. <laughs> I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson. Would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah. Here we go. Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay. Let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this score they're planning. What the? Oh, we're in a cutscene. Yeah, all right. What's that? Tracks. Horses. Quite a few of them. What are you doing? As far as I can tell. The only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can't forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. I don't blame you, you Dutch. Brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the oh. bastards will be reunited there we soon go. enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. I see fire. Well, smoke, I should say. Let's cut up here and take a look. That's what I was thinking. Lake, so we must be close. Oh, I see a bird. Javier, Lenny. All right, gentlemen. Oh, I don't know who this, this is. is it. That's Maka. Oh, we got them ready. Ready, ready. Dutch. Good. Now, oh, I need my. Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't yep, get a yep. sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two. Hold position here. Let's go. Wait, why does... Michael, why do you have a bottle with... Uh... What the... How is he holding two guns in... Uh... I thought you were going with Dutch. Oh, right. Oh, I guess I'm just using my revolver then. What the? Why is my horse following me? There they are. That's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him.
Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. All right. Let's go pay our old friends a visit. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. You boys be ready to pick them off from up there. <laughs> sure thing. Good. Come on, let's go. Doesn't hurt to take the bow. Seems easiest to take the same path down as Bill and Micah. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur, Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including coal, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now, come on. Steep here. Careful. All right, I'll take it nice and slow. Nice and slow. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running... Hush. Let's just get down there first. Follow me. Let's head for that building in front. Stay low. Come on, follow me. Let's stick the carbine repeater. Something 
So what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. Make the call, Arthur. So I say let you go. Okay, fine. You make the move. Kill every last one of these Getting back up. Alright, I'm getting my revolver. There we go. Can we loot any of these bodies like we can? We got ammo and all that, but... I see the cabin. Oh, what the fuck? What has happened? Ha! Take that. Alright, let's see what we got. Healthcare, that's nice. Heads up, boys! We got more coming in from the forest! Right, give me some of that before I fight these guys. Oh, I got Buck 33. I think let's defend them. Yeah, defending this. Oh, come on. There we go. 
Oh, no. Don't it. Okay, so that's how we. Okay. We'll loot some of these guys. Open chewing tobacco. I already used one. I don't know why it's telling me to do that, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, I think it's time we head back. I'll loot this guy, and then that should be good enough. Arthur, get over here. I'm coming. Tear this place apart. Uh, Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. Uh, Kentucky bourbon. A cigar. Anything in here? Oh wait! Aha! Dynamite! Okay. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. <laughs> Smells good. Uh, come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was going to rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right. Let's get out of here. Sounds All good. Of you boys. All of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and out. They can pummel us as hard as they like, but we will always get back up and fight. Hell yeah. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait till we have John, Matt, Charles, and Sean riding with us. And I believe, oh, I know, they will all be back. Well, you can get calm, but this hit'll hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> Guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before Careful. they know where we are. Why are you riding all over the place? The, Lewis, doesn't look like I care what you think. Behind at Blackwater. That won't happen again. Wasn't he at the camp with Cone? Leave him to me. 
All right, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. He could be useful. Okay, you got it. Alright. Come on. Ha! Come here, boy. You can't you can't outrun me. I'm gonna get you. Well, I'm gonna get you. Get away from me! No, I just wanna talk to you. Where are you going? Shit! No! Don't hurt me! <laughs> Come here. You're I... coming with me. Please, please, you don't need to do this. I do need to do this. Please don't. What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. There you go. Duffy, Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please. Oh, damn. Oh. You're hurting me. So what? Don't do this, please. No, we're going to do this. Damn. But yeah, we're gonna torture you, buddy. Yeah, just know I'm not. This is just for the game, okay? They don't tell me nothing. I swear. Oh, take it easy. You're gonna break my ribs. Come on, just name your price. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay, okay. That's two bones right there. Made it back. Here we are, you sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. All right, come here. Don't come here, me, Duffy. Shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot, fellas. Is need shooting? Save, fellas. Is need saving, and feed him. Is need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it. An O'Driscoll in my camp. I ain't an O'Driscoll, Mister. I, I hate that fella. Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 